we are especially delighted to have a very unique and exciting Insight speaker. Our next speaker started his journey in a very different world to the one he finds himself today. He taught himself English and started his career as a teacher. One day he discovered the internet and combined with passion and an unwavering belief in his dream it has led to where he is today. But what you may not know is that for many years he's been involved with APEC and he represented China as an APEC Business Advisory Council member, or ABAC. But throughout his service during ABAC, he was always very focused on SMEs, during the working groups, and in particular, always took time out to take part in SME summits, whether it's the APEC SME Summit and CEO Summit in Peru in 2008, or even in China. As you know, on the 11th of November, Singles Day in China, his firm broke all the records. His is a story of dreams, of passion, and of never, ever giving up. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please give a warm APEC CEO Summit and ABAC welcome to the founder and executive chairman of Alibaba Group, Mr. Jack Ma. Um, honestly, I never thought that I would be able to stand here talking to so many wonderful CEOs and business leaders about my dream. Sixteen years ago in my apartment, that 18 people sit there and we discussed that we want to use the internet to help small business in the world. And I uh, made a talk to the, uh, my 17 colleagues about our vision, how internet is going to change. And I said one thing, if we people can be successful, 80% of the Chinese people can be successful. Because we are the people without resources, we are the people without money, we are the people without relationship, and we are the people without even knowing the technology. Among the 18 people, there are only two people understand something about a computer. And the other 16 people know nothing, including me. Until today, the only thing I know about a computer is receive and send emails, browse, and watch video. <laughs> I said 80% of the people in this world, like me, we love technology, but we are scared of the technology. So we have to make sure the internet is simple enough that everybody just have a dumb click, get what they want. So that was the beginning. And we say, let's prove it. And we will compete the people from, because we are not well-educated people at that time. We are most of the, the 18 people, we graduate from very poor lower-level universities, which we believe they are the best university in the world. These are the people who change the world. So we said we will compete with the people from Harvard, from Yale, from uh, Berkeley. But we never skip because we work as a team. We have the dream. We believe that if we're working for 15 years, we will, we will make it. So 16 years passed, what we have achieved, we've been growing fast. But or just to give you one example, what we have done last Wednesday, the singlest day. November 11 in China is considered like a singlest day. People don't have a boyfriend, girlfriend. We say, what are you going to do when other people have a boyfriend, girlfriend? Go shopping. <laughs> so we made that day after seven years. It's very interesting. This year, we sold. 14.5 billion US dollars. 45 million people coming concurrently on the mobile phone. Imagine about that today. On the mobile phone, every day we have 120 million people shopping using mobile phones to our site. And that, that sales alone, which we could not imagine 15 years ago. Of course, I did not buy anything. Because that day, uh, we have, uh, you know, we have uh, more than 1 billion products listing on the site. And I, what I'm interested in is that how we can use this technology to influence more people, to help more small business in the world. If China can do it, why the other nation cannot do it? We have helped 12 million business in China, small business, using our platform 
to sell online, to communicate with our customers online. So we believe this model, if it works in China, why it cannot work in the other nations? People say, 10 years ago, when I talked to the venture capitalist, tried to raise some money for the Alibaba, people say, wow, no, China e-commerce, e forget it. Because you don't have this, you don't have that, you don't have a credit system, you don't have the banking, you don't have logistics. You are such a poor infrastructure uh, country. But I tell you one thing. One of the reasons why China e-commerce grow faster than the United States, because the infrastructure of commerce in China were too bad. Because we don't have this, we don't have that. When internet comes, we make the infrastructure really works and sophisticated. But in America, because you know the Walmart, the Kmart, and all the retailers are everywhere. So e-commerce is just like a dessert. In China, e-commerce become the main cause. <laughs> and this single day, we have uh, people from over 200 countries join this shopping day. And this is almost bigger than the United Nations. And 60% of the shoppers are women, and 40% of the men. And by the way, the, the infrastructure of using e-commerce is so amazing and so complicated. We have to finish 80% of transactions per second. And that day, we created more than 60, 60 or 600 million packages because we, in the afternoon, we have to slow down the sales. Otherwise, the whole China logistics system will be crashed. <laughs> All right. This record is not created by Alibaba. It's created by the small guys, the young people, the small business. And I will tell you there are about more than 10 million business today in the world, in China. They try to sell, they try to do business online. And most of the, see, people sitting here, mostly we are from the Fortune 500. We only have 500 companies that be able to be here, but I hope in the next in the next 10, 20 years later, the small guys, those people who are very small today, they will be big in the future. And they will be the people standing here speaking, and most people will listen. And by the way, can I ask how many people here were born after 1980s here? <laughs> Good, there, there are some here, right. Congratulations, you know, you are the hope of ours. There are about 1.5 billion people in this world that were born after 1980s. This generation is called internet generation. They're different from my grandfather. My grandfather know the news by the newspaper. He said, well, the newspaper said. So everything newspaper said, he believed it. My father listened to the radio. He said, radio said. If the radio said, he believed it. My generation watched TV. And my son's generation. They grow, they breathe, they, everything based on the internet. So guys, let's think about this, this new generation, 1.5 billion people. They are different from ours. How we can change ourselves to make their need? This is the challenge. So I want that these young people, and most of the people who are born in the 1980s, they make the business based on the technology, based on the innovation, based on the things that they all have. So I think in the future, we will see more companies like Apple, Alibaba, Amazon, and eBay, and, 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 and Facebook from those people who were born after 1980s. I remember year 2001 when I first joined the, the World Economic Forum in Davos. I was first invited and invited to go in there talking about a globalization. I was so shocked because in China, I heard globalization was great. But when I arrived there, there were people threw stones and the military police. And, and like everybody was against globalization. And I said, what happened? Is there something dif different about the, the globalization we heard and globalization that did? I was puzzled. But I think in the past 20 years, globalization really helped pump up the global economy. But it helped the big companies. It helped the developing nations. The developing countries and small guys did not benefit enough from the globalizations. So what we should do, what we can help more people. 
helping more people, developing nations, helping more small guys, young people. Because if we do not help, we got more and more disasters coming. How we can make people benefit? The reason why we're choosing Alibaba, people, you know, the name Alibaba, people say, why are you choosing the name of such a strange name? First, because start with A, when everything talk, you rank on the top, Alibaba. <laughs> and we have a vision that Alibaba and the 40 thieves, Alibaba, you know, open the, the sesame for the other people to benefit, to, to take advantage of the treasurer. So we think Alibaba means open sesame online. There are so many treasure, great things online. How we can use this kind of treasures to distribute, let the whole world benefit from it. And also I would I just said, every free trade is the best tool to make people understand each other. Trade is the best thing that make people Cross the board. Trading is not about trading of the products. Trading is about the culture. It's about the passion. It's about the innovation and the creation. So we think no matter whatever country you are, no matter whatever size, whatever size company you are, trade is a freedom. Trade is a human right. Trade should not be used as the tool to against the other nations. So we think we should build up a new EWTO, or WTO 2.0. Past 20 years, WTO did for big companies. Next 20 years, we should use WTO to support small guys. Because if we cannot, <laughs> if we cannot change it, it will be a disaster for everybody. Small guys are the most innovative companies, because 15 years ago, when we had this idea about using internet to help small guys in China, everybody said, no, impossible. We say, well, our job is to make impossible possible. Because since we don't have jobs, why not we do it? So I think, let's think about, the WTO was, uh, was agreement between government. And I think a real treat, treat, trade treaty should be agreement of the business. The business agree, the government follow. If the government agree on the business, business treaty, because of political reasons, because we don't hate, the government hate each other, all the business goes nowhere. That is why we've been waiting for the Doha round for so many, so many. When I was a boy, I heard about W2, now I'm still waiting for the result. So let's work on some solution, which I don't have a proper name for it. Maybe should the W2 2.0 or EW2. Let's agree something that really can help the small guys. Let's say, imagine today, Philippine people can buy online things from Argentina, buy things from Norway, buy things from Africa. Let's think about a small business in Africa. They can sell things abroad. Because I went to some of the nations, small countries. They have a very good tourist gifts, but people there, they don't buy it. But online, we find what's cool. You know, we, I never saw this kind of gifts from the small countries. So cross the nations would be great. And our suggestion is that the, the country, if you really believe this is good, let's give in one million US dollars or euros if, if the small business sell to the other nation, less than one million every year, we should give the duty free. Only give, giving all kinds of support to making sure the small guys can go across. We build up the infrastructure on the payment, we build up the infrastructure of the logistic system. And I think people may say, wow, it's so complicated. And there's a lot of negotiations among the government. Let's do it online first. Because today, our sales in China this year is 500 billion US dollars. It's almost the same size as Walmart. And it's mainly in China. If we had a negotiation with all the government and provinces, this would go nowhere because they would never agree with each other. So because we not never negotiate with them, we made this thing happen. So finally, I want to say, human beings are entering a new world. The three technologies, we are the luckiest people of, of, this, of the world, of the century. The first technology revolution happened in the UK, took about 50 years. The first 20 years, about technology. The, 30, the next 30 years was about implementation. And the, the second technology energy happened in the United States. First 20 years, technology. Next 30 years, is about implementation of the technology. 
Now, internet. We just passed 20 years. The next 30 years is how we can implement this thing into everybody's life, into every aspect of life. So every technology takes about 50 years. Think about the first technology, we have the organ organization called a factory, and it caused the first world war. The second technology, we have the organization of the company, they're called a company, and we have the second world war. So people don't worry about today, there are a lot of problems on the internet. We should have the third world war to against the poverty, the climate change, and the disease. So the first technology released people's muscle. The second technology released the distance, people, how far you can go. So now that's why we see the Mars, we see the moons, but we know so little about ourselves, our inside of the heart. So I think this technology is release of the brain, and this is going to change big. The world is going to be changed a lot. A lot of women leaders will be there. We have to build up a world that is more transparent, a world that is more inclusive, a world that is care the others, empower the others. So I'm a very optimistic about the future. I believe trust of the young people. Believe them, help them, empower them, because we are entering into a world that is, should be innovative. There are a lot of problems, but as always, my philosophy of doing business, because I, this is my philosophy I want to share with you, today is difficult. Tomorrow is much more difficult, but the day of tomorrow is beautiful. Most people die tomorrow evening. <laughs> you got to work in hard, you got to work with the others, you got to entrust the future. You should always have the hope Try to make sure that it's not on the movie you see Mission Impossible. It's on the real life you have to make Mission Possible. Thank you very, very much.